can have Adam, please. Hi, Stephen. I'm Gary Thornley from the Senate Football. I hope you've managed to have a, a break, mate. I'm not sorry for bringing in on your day off. Oh, no, it's fine. All good. It's all good. We all wish you all the best for the upcoming season and, and congratulate you on completing a bit even since well, we had a difficult time last year. Um, I just wonder, Stephen, last year we all said the, the disappointment was missing out in a one-off qualifying game at home to Ferenc Farrell. This season we see the qualifiers return to two legs. How do you think that changes the approach to the game tactically? Um, well, I think it's going to be a tough game anyway because you know, we know Michelin are a, a quality team. I think any team that that is competing in the Champions League qualifiers is going to be a good team. So, I to have it two legs, um, especially try to get fans here at Celtic Park. That would be a, a good advantage for us to, to get people, even how few it will be, uh, to get anyone back into the, into the stadium would be excellent for us. Darren? Hi Stephen, how are you doing? It's Darren from Four Pimps here. Uh, just on the news last week that Chris Farrier expects to leave Celtic in the summer, uh, are you looking to fully establish yourself as the, one of the first choice centre halves this season? I think I, I think well, I would, everyone would be trying to establish themselves in the in the team anyway, uh, especially a new manager coming in. It's kind of a fresh start for everyone, so I'll be looking to impress as usual as I do. Uh, every pre-season since I, since I came up with the first team so I'm very much looking forward to it and hopefully hopefully I can uh, put a good first impression on it. David? Hi Stephen, it's David from the Celtic Star. Um, well done in breaking into the team last season. Um, one of the few bright spots for the supporters to see the homegrown um, player um, coming through, especially since the recent school team. I think I think the Champions League campaign is massive for the club every season. Uh, I think financially for the club it's a big thing, and then for the players to go and compete at the highest level. Uh, so we're always looking to do well in in the at the European stage because that's what every player uh, that's the level every player that wants to play at. Hamish. Hi Stephen, it's Hamish from uh, 67, you'll be able to do well. Um, just wondering, obviously Tom Rogic has played with the new manager in the past, I'm just wondering if he's had anything to, to say in the dressing room and, and if you've actually spoken to the new manager yet? No, I've not, I've not spoken to the new manager yet, but um, I think going off his interview uh, when, he, when he first joined, it's, you know, it's very promising. Uh, you know, he mentioned uh, he likes to bring academy players through the, into the first team. So I think all the academy boys looking at that will it's a good chance to give a good impression uh, in pre season and, and start well. James? Hi, Stephen, how are you doing? All right. Uh, I'm just wondering how tricky a task do you think this will be um, coming up against Meteorland? Because they're obviously more difficult games this time around. And do you think it's been made a bit trickier by the late arrival of the manager? I think going into this stage of Champions League, it's always going to be a tricky tie. You know, they saw the other teams that we could have drawn against as well. The three of them are, are you know, big clubs in Europe, so we'll be looking to go and obviously get through, but we know how hard it will be. Uh, so it's all about preparing the best we can over the next few weeks to to get us get ourselves ready for, for what's going to be a, a tough game. James Forrest. Okay, Joe McKenna. Hi there, it's Stephen. Joe McKenna from the Homeboys broadcast here. Hope you're well. Um, we've got roughly about five weeks now until the first competitive game. And mm -hmm. kind of, like I said, you're not spoken with any manager yet. Is there trepidation or anxiety, or is it more everybody's very excited for what's coming next? For me personally, I'm, I'm quite excited to get back in and, and going again. As I said, it's like a fresh start for everyone to to go and impress a new manager and I think the way he plays football is very attacking. Uh, we'll need to come back very fit because that, that I think that's the way he plays. So I am very much looking forward to it and you know hopefully we can get off to 
a good start in pre-season you know, with the three games that we've got uh, over in Wales. John Reid. Good, good, thank you. Uh, will you be looking forward in particular to getting involved with the new manager and seeing uh, what sort of ideas he's going to implement? Aye, as I, in his interview, I think the ideas came across very well, especially looking at that as a player. It's a very attacking attacking setup, you know, we, that's what we're all about at Celtic. It's attacking free flowing football and uh, I, as I said, um, we're going to have to come back in, in good shape to to play like that. So, yeah, I very much looking forward to it. Cheers, mate. Good luck. Cheers. Uh, Paul at Celtic Fans TV. Hi, Stephen. Paul at Celtic Fans TV. How you doing? Good, thank you. Um, can you give us an insight into what the season is like for you guys from a, a fitness perspective? Do you get programmed? Do you have to go away and work on? Um, or do you just do it just a case of Aye, so for me, you know, I was I didn't really get much of a break because I was back in with the the Scotland Twenty Ones. But I over the next week or two, I'll be working away with a program and you know just try to top up fitness because I've already played a couple of games during what is called the off season with Scotland. So uh, it won't be. I won't, hopefully, I won't lose a lot of fitness. Um, but I just keep yourself ticking over uh, over the next few uh, couple of weeks. John Dykes. Hi Stephen, Paul John Dykes from A Celtic State of Mind. We're looking ahead to a season without Scott Brown for the first time in 14 years. Who do you see as the leaders amongst the squad who are going to lead us into this new era? I think at a club like this you're going to need a team of leaders. Uh, I think everyone needs to be, obviously you'll, you'll have your, your captain uh, which is you know the main priority but I think going into Going into the next season, we're going to need a full team of leaders, uh, good characters and good footballers as well, and which, which we've already got. So I think that goes through the spine of the team, and uh, I hopefully hopefully we can get that. Thanks, Stephen. All the best for next season. Thank you. And Celts are here. Hi, Stephen. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Uh, I'm not too sure what's happening. As I said, I'm I'm not back till next week, uh, so I can't really comment on that. Uh, I'm not back to next week to do you no know, your testing and that, so not too sure about that. Alrighty, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.